I want to offer another way of looking at one of the steps in partial fractions, um, and it uses a physical chemistry, uh, physics chemistry kind of thing uh, that some people struggle with. If I have this formula, how do I go from that to this 2 by 2 system? And I said, well, whatever the coefficient on x is over here has to match the coefficient on x over here. Whatever the coefficient on kind of x to the 0 or whatever the constant term is here has to match the constant term over here. Let's look at it from a chemistry point of view. If you were trying to balance this equation, you'd have to figure out how many of this molecule, that's glucose, and how many of this molecule to have on this side of the equation to give the same number of carbons, hydrogens, and oxygens as on this side of the equation. So um, here I've put in kind of blanks, but you could have, um, uh, let's see, well, we, we want to avoid capital C. Let's call it um, capital X capital Y, capital Z, and capital W, not thinking of them as, uh, as element names. Um, so I want to have as many carbons on this side of the formula as on that side. So how many carbons do I have over here? I have six times however many molecules of that, and then none of that. Um, there's no carbons in that. And then I, how many carbons do I have here? I have z of them times one carbon is just a one there. Let's match, so that's the carbon equation. Um, how about the hydrogen equation? How many hydrogens do I have on this side? I have 12 times x, and none there. And then how many hydrogens do I have on this side? I have w times two. And then for oxygens, how many oxygens do I have on this side? I have 6x, and then I have another 2y. And how many oxygens do I have on this side? I have 2z, or z times 2, and 1 oxygen times the w. So there I'm matching uh, similar terms to the way I did up here. Here it was x to the 1 terms and x to the 0 terms. Here it's carbons, hydrogens, and oxygens separately. Um, so in some sense all I have to do is solve this and uh, the x, y, and z that I get will balance this equation. That's great. I really disliked balancing equations by hand when I took chemistry. I thought, isn't there some automatic way to do this? And there is. This is it. There's a little wrinkle though Notice that this has four variables, but only three equations. That means that there's multiple solutions. Uh, if you find an x, y, z, and w that balance this, multiplying them all by two will still balance it. You'll just have twice as much on each side. Um, so you'd have to uh, find some way to solve that. You could like say, well, let's let x equals one, see if the others end up integer. If they don't, then let x equal uh, 2 or whatever to, to bump the numbers up. Um, so I'll say try setting x equals 1, solve for the other 3, using some kind of matrix solution method. Um, so that's a nice analogy between what we're doing in partial fractions uh, kind of grouping and saying like terms should equal each other and a more physical chemistry kind of process.